Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 27th of November, 2024, day before Thanksgiving. Found to be a bright sunny day today, a little warmer than yesterday, but still typical for November. Reminder of worship services tonight at 7 o'clock at St. Paul's here in Garnavillo. We will have Holy Communion, and it is a community worship service open to anybody who would like to come. Hope to see you all there. Reminder of Bob Egan's funeral this coming Saturday at First Lutheran. That will be at 1030. There will be visitation for an hour before the services, so if you'd like to come and greet the family at that time, please do so. Worship services this coming Sunday, 8.30 at 1st, 10.30 at St. Paul's. Both services will have Holy Communion and will be live streamed. Do keep all of those things in mind as you plan your week. Hope you have a good and blessed Thanksgiving with your family and friends. I want to share just a little bit of um, my meditation last night at St. Mary's in McGregor for the community Thanksgiving service. Uh, it involves a, a family story, one that uh, makes a huge difference in my family and one that I enjoy telling my grandkids about how grateful I am for a strong grip of a young man. I am an 11th generation descendant of a Mayflower pilgrim, John Howland. John Howland was a young man, an indentured servant to one of the other pilgrims, whose name was John Carver. As they were crossing the Atlantic to, to go to what they thought would be Virginia, but wound up in Plymouth, uh, they encountered a very heavy storm. And as was the practice in those days, you rolled up the sails because you didn't want to put extra strain on the ship, and you allowed the ship to ride on the waves. Uh, as part of that, the ropes for the sails would oftentimes trail in the water. That's important because John Holland uh, foolishly went up on deck during the storm and got swept overboard and would have drowned rather quickly had it not been for those trailing ropes. And so he was able to grab onto one of the trailing ropes and was seen by the crew and they quickly pulled him to safety. Had it not been for his good grip on that rope, I wouldn't be here. Uh, and so would several million other people in the United States. There are a lot of people descended from Mayflower uh, pilgrims. But it is a reminder of what we are to give thanks for. If we look back just three weeks, we had an election in the United States, and I would imagine about half of the people were thankful for the outcome. And I would imagine about half of the people weren't thankful for the outcome. Um, giving thanks isn't always just giving thanks for the good things that happen to you. For the Christian, giving thanks is part of who we are. We give thanks to God for our salvation in Christ through his death and resurrection. Sins are forgiven, and Luther says, where there is forgiveness of sins, there is life and salvation. And so Christians learn to give thanks in all circumstances. In the circumstances of life when things are going well and we are blessed, and in the circumstances of life where tragedy has befallen us, where our lives are not going any way that we want them to, we are not giving thanks for the circumstance, but we are giving thanks for the God who is constantly with us. The psalmist is very correct when he reminds us in the 23rd Psalm that even though we go through the dark valley of death, even there God is with us. And we do not give thanks for the prospect of death, we do not give thanks for the prospect of illness or of loss or failure or disaster, but we can, as believers in Christ, give thanks to God in the midst of them that he is yet with us. We can, even if our lives have fallen apart completely, still give thanks to God because he is with us and his promises are kept and held true. And so this Thanksgiving, I hope and pray that you can be thankful for the blessings that you have, but more importantly, I hope you can give thanks to God for his ongoing love and presence in your life. So that whether good times or bad times, successes or failures come into your life, you know that you can still be thankful for God's presence, for God's unending love, and for the hope and promise that we have in him through Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do give you thanks for all the times that you are with us all the places in our lives, the places of success and failures, the places of joy and sorrows, of easy times and hard times. We thank you that you never abandon us, that your love is constant and always with us. Remind us on our National Day of Thanksgiving to treasure those things that we have been blessed with. 
but also to use those blessings to care for and reach out to those who are struggling, who do not have enough to eat, who do not have adequate shelter or jobs. Help us to use the abundance that you have given us to bless them as well. We thank you so much for hearing us pray and know that you are always with us. We ask it all in your name. Amen. Well, I did not get one out yesterday. I had a busy day and things got in the way. So, But that happens from time to time. I will hopefully see you tomorrow and I hope that you have a very good rest of the day. And until then, goodbye now. <music>